In this video, we're going to draw taxiway markings. After watching this video followed by the previous video that dealt with runway markings, you'll perfectly understand the taxiway markings and runway markings and their meaning, which is essential to the pilot and the controller. The text in the regulations itself is not easy to understand, right? We'll help you to understand easily. Unlike the marking of the runway, all taxiway markings are yellow. Here's a runway and a taxiway. All taxiways, regardless of their width, have a surface painted taxiway center line. Taxiway center lines are consist of a continuous stripe along the center line of the designated taxiway. At taxiway intersections with a runway end, the marking is terminated at the runway edge. When the taxiway meets a displaced threshold, or an area other than the end of the runway, the taxiway center line marking curves onto the runway and extends parallel to the runway center line marking for 200 feet past the point where the two markings become parallel. The taxiway center line marking provides pilots with continuous visual guidance to permit taxiing along the designated path. Aircraft must taxi along this center line of the taxiway to ensure wingtip safety. Taxiway edge markings are used to delineate the edge of the taxiway. Taxiway edge markings can either be continuous or dashed. Continuous taxiway edge markings consist of a continuous double yellow line, each being at least 6 inches in width and spaced 6 inches apart. Continuous taxiway edge markings are used to identify the taxiway from the shoulder or some other surface not intended to be used by aircraft. Dash taxiway edge markings consist of a broken double yellow line. The lines are 15 feet in length with 25 feet gaps. Dash taxiway edge markings are used when the aircraft would need to cross the lines, for example when a taxiway enters or crosses aprons. Runway holding position markings identify the locations on a taxiway where aircraft must stop when a clearance has not been issued to proceed onto the runway. The runway holding position marking consists of a set of two continuous lines and two dashed lines. When instructed by ATC, hold short of runway 9, the pilot must stop so that no part of the aircraft extends beyond the runway holding position marking. The enhanced taxiway center line marking provides additional visual cues to alert pilots of an upcoming runway holding position marking in order to minimize the potential for runway incursions. This center line marking consists of a parallel line of yellow dashes on either side of the normal taxiway center line. The taxiway center lines are generally enhanced for a maximum of 150 feet prior to a runway holding position marking. The holding position markings for ILS critical areas identify the location on a taxiway where an aircraft is supposed to stop when it does not have clearance to enter this ILS critical area. The ILS holding position markings are indicated with a set of two parallel lines spaced four feet apart, in between these two lines and perpendicular to them are sets of two parallel lines spaced 10 feet apart. Due to their appearance, these markings are commonly referred to as a ladder or railroad tracks. These critical areas are used to protect the navigational aid signal or the airspace required for the approach procedure. If there is an ILS landing aircraft in a situation where visibility and cloud base are lower than a certain standard, the controller will instruct the ground aircraft as follows. Intermediate holding position markings consist of a single dashed line extending across the width of the taxiway. This markings is used to support the operational need by the control tower to manage taxing aircraft. When instructed by ATC, hold short of taxiway Bravo. The pilot must stop so that no part of the aircraft extends beyond the holding position marking. Where conditions exist such as islands or taxiway curves that may cause confusion as to which side of the edge stripe is for use by aircraft, taxiway shoulder markings may be used to indicate the pavement is unusable. The taxiway shoulder marking is painted using a perpendicular reference line draw from the taxiway center line. To provide additional visual cues to pilots and vehicle drivers, several positioning signs can be painted on the surface. The number on the red background represents the designated number of the runway ahead. The alphabet on the black background means the name of the taxiway where the aircraft is currently located, and the alphabet with an arrow on the yellow background means the name of the taxiway indicated by the arrow direction. At most airports, taxiway markings can be seen with black borders on the edges. Markings on surface with light-colored pavements, such as concrete or older asphalt, are not well identified. 
therefore, it can be clearly distinguished with a black border. That's it for this video today. We hope this has been a helpful time to build up your aviation knowledge. ATC for you.